Welcome, Ali and Arturo. I'm very glad that you came to mediation today. Thank you. So I'd like to hear a little bit about the conflict. Uh, let's start with Ali. Hmm. Well, my roommate does not respect my religion. He drinks almost every other day. And when he drinks, he consistently invites me to join him, even though I have told him several times that drinking is not allowed in my religion. Yesterday afternoon, he was drunk, and he was forcing a beer on me. He put it in my face, and I thought he was going to make me drink it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Arturo, how about you tell us your side of the conflict? Well, first of all, I don't like the way Ali portrays me as an alcoholic. My father was an alcoholic, and I know I'm not one, okay? I am not my father. Also, I respect his religion. I'm Catholic, I just don't practice it that much, and I don't go around forcing everybody I meet to follow my religion like he does. That's all Ali does. Seriously. Plus, I mean, I study, yeah, and I also drink, yeah, but all he does is studying. He doesn't do much outside of just studying. It's ridiculous. And yesterday we were just playing around, man. I would never force him to drink. We were just playing around. I'm sorry, okay? All right, Ali, how does this make you feel? If he cares about me, then he will treat my religion with respect. He just wants to shame me for not drinking. That's not how you treat someone you care about. Mm. Well, let's put that on hold for a moment. I want us to do an activity called perspective taking. What is that? I'm glad you asked. See, the uh, perspective taking is the ability to assume a viewpoint that's different from your usual viewpoint. So Arturo and Ali, one way for you to manage this conflict is to understand the cultural variations within the intercultural conflict resolution. You know, our cultural values influence the, our approaches to conflict management. One key thing I'm noticing as I'm listening to both of you is how you both adopt different communication strategies to manage the impression that others will have of you. And that's called face negotiation theory. And you've probably heard of the phrase uh, saving face, yeah? Okay, so that means you're avoiding humiliation and you're retaining respect. So uh, that theory is gonna help us understand the cultural variations that are underlying in managing your conflict. For instance here, Arturo, you tend to protect your need for community inclusion and associations. And sometimes that means you're protecting your face to the detriment of others. Arturo, do you remember some of the moments when Ali tried to save your face? I don't know. As you can see, Ali tends to use an accommodating style when dealing with conflict. Does that feel true? I, I guess it could be. Well, I'll elaborate more. An accommodating style emphasizes an indirect approach to communication in a more emotionally restrained manner. Yeah? So he might be using that style to uh, ensure that the conflict doesn't get out of hand. So he'll adopt uh, more passive, ambiguous approaches to expressing his viewpoint. This approach helps him save your face while keeping a sense of harmony and peace. But the truth is, this doesn't eliminate your conflict. So let's switch that. Ali, what do you think Arturo's conflict management style is? Um, I do not know. Well, Arturo is using a dynamic conflict management style. And you're using a direct style of communication here with a more emotionally intense expressiveness. Does that feel true? Sure. This conflict is showing that 
Arturo is comfortable using stronger language and sometimes more emotionally confrontational talk. Yeah. And sometimes maybe Arturo views Ali's emotional restraint as a weakness. And those who tend to use this management style don't intend to save the face of the other person. They intend to save their own face. And sometimes that can worsen a conflict. Given those differences, maybe you can see how conflict occurs largely in your spaces because of differences in cultural values and your approaches to conflict management. And now that you've not only learned about them, but you've also experienced them, I'd like you to reflect on those two new concepts, face work and conflict management styles, whenever you have an intercultural conflict.